multiple baseline across subjects. Some people might want to say individuals, but it doesn't really have to be an... In I, it's, come on. It's an ethical thing. I don't know what to say. Eth individuals or uh, subjects. I like subjects. It's, but we're not talking about math and science. We're talking about organisms. All right, so it could be rats and pigeons. Anyway, whew, we gotta go fast now because we're running out of time for this one. It's a multiple baseline across three people or subjects. Could be rats, could be pigeons, all right? So don't forget, start your baselines all at the same time. Interventions are offset by, I don't know, a couple of days. So basically some stable behavior. That's really all you're after. So you offset everything um, and then find out if your intervention worked by seeing if there was a change in behavior, the phase change across all three subjects. It, it's that simple, right? It works with pigeons. It works with rats. It works with freaking humans. It's just baselines. It's multiple baselines and they're A, B's and they're all stacked together. And how do you stack three non-experimental designs and create an experimental one? You're going to have to watch the other multiple baseline videos to figure out.